Hello friends, this is Amit Khai. I am Lean Six Sigma Black Belt, your known friend. And today I am going to cover one interesting topic that is about what are the Kaizen, Lean and Six Sigma. What are the difference between them? A lot of people ask me this question while I am actually working with them on a certain uh, process improvement or some innovative idea. So I thought let me create a video about it uh, so that people can quickly refer in two to three minutes that what they are all about and how to differentiate between these three so let us start with the presentation first of all let me talk about kaizen kaizen is a japanese word that came about the continuous improvement if i talk about its implementation looking at the automotive industry the kaizen helped toyota revolutionize their automotive and their car manufacturing industry where you know the toyota today makes the world class car they had tough competition with the ford manufacturing after world war ii but with the kaizen they could actually evolve their uh, manufacturing in a way that by making small continuous improvements they are leading the car manufacturing worldwide today when i talk about healthcare industry Kaizen reduces the waste and wait times in emergency departments, in OPDs and make the customer going to the doctors as soon as possible in case of the emergency especially. When we talk about the food service industry, there also there is an implementation of Kaizen that helped a restaurant reduce the food spoilages and improve the efficiencies in the kitchen and making them the better food. Coming to the lean waste, it was a updated version with more data driven approach. It was again introduced by Toyota historically in manufacturing in a bicycle factory. If I talk about lean help eliminated the waste efforts, materials and resulting in 96% reduction in overall manufacturing time. Similarly, when I talk about the healthcare industry, a hospital used to lean to reduce that raid emission rates by 20% and by eliminating the root cause of the patient's health issues. Um, if I talk about similarly in the retail industry, who don't have a bad retail industry story whenever we visit uh, uh, you know, the big supply chains like India, we have a big bazaar and reliance. So what happens? The pretty long waiting times there so a supermarket chain used lean to streamline the store operations optimizing the store layouts and then significantly reducing the checkpoints at, uh, at the output that reduced the customer waiting times so by this way they could actually improve the customer delight now talking about six sigma it is more of a statistical approach historically it came from motorola and if I talk about Six Sigma, the goal of that is to reduce variability in the process. When I talk about variability, it means the variation either in the output or variation in the performance. When I take an example of manufacturing industry, Six Sigma aims to reduce the defects in a production line by 99.99966%. Do you know? Uh, so achieving a Six le Sigma level of uh, quality is the ultimate OM aim of this methodology when I talk about aviation industry how many times uh, you think a uh, flight takes place every day maybe millions and how many times you really see there is a crash landing very barely so aviation industry works on Six Sigma it helped an airline to reduce their flight delays delay and cancellations uh, by 38% in adopting the factors such as uh, you know statistical uh, root causes, uh, the hypothesis testing and various other tools through which they can eliminate the root cause. And if I talk about the telecom industry, the Six Sigma reduces customer complaints by 95% in a telecom company by analyzing and eliminating the variability in the performance of their call centers, the call droppages and so on. So comparison in contrast if i talk about the goal of the kaizen is to incremental improvement by improve uh, you know uh, by uh, accommodating the ideas of all of their employees and it is said that the best person to improve a process is the one who does it 
while lean targets waste elimination reducing the cycle times and making the things faster six sigma targets the variation reductions consistent output approach side the kaizen implementation emphasizes the employee involvement whereas the lean and six sigma methodologies are more of the data driven they are problem structured problem solving methodologies if i talk about the tools in kaizen focuses on visual management just in time uh, you know the rrr boards on the production lines whereas the lean relies on value stream mapping and six sigma uses the statistical process and control and dmac methodologies to improve the variations in the processes in conclusion when to choose the right methodology for auditing purpose any process where you are actually auditing the defects you want to eliminate the root causes of it the six sigma is the best methodology for that wherever you have the time constraints and you want to fix the things quickly the lean is the best way through value stream mapping you can solve your problems within a month or maybe uh, two employee engagement if it is your target then best methodology for the same is kaizen the kaizen is about continuous improvement everyone every day so the key takeaways is the kaizen is more about continuous improvement and employee empowerment whereas the lean talks about waste elimination and it is a data driven approach also the six sigma is more about the variation reduction and it is talks about the statistical process control of the processes if you have any questions you